Welcome everybody to my talk about Qt remote objects. Um, my name is Björn Breitmeier. I'm working at KDAP as a software engineer for four and a half years now, and I'm currently maintaining the Qt.Windows e port. So what is Qt remote objects? <coughs> Qt remote objects is a remoting framework for Qobjects. So you have a server side with an object, and you have the uh, same object on the client, you have all the same properties, you get the signals, and if you invoke a slot on <coughs> the client-side object, it will be executed on the server. It was uh, contributed by Ford, or will be contributed. I hope you can actually try it out directly after the talk. It's, we're trying to push it right now. Um, the idea was from Brad Stottlemyer, and KDAP supported the work. Um, yeah, as I've already said, we hope it will be out uh, <coughs> today, so you can grab that URL and check the module out yourself. It's pretty much complete, uh, besides uh, that we could have more examples, the documentation needs to be built up, but uh, you have a working repository building as a Qt module, you can install it and you can try it out. Okay. Why should you care? There are several other kinds of remoting frameworks. There's Tvas, there are things like uh, Corba. Most of them have in common, you have <coughs> complex setup or you need to have a specific daemon. Qt remote object doesn't need that. Uh, if you want to have a daemon mode, it comes with a daemon, but you can have a direct connection as well. Um, <coughs> Same is it's tightly integrated into Qt, so you just have a normal Qt object. You don't see the difference once you've acquired uh, your object. Um, you can use it across different devices, so not like Divas where you have to tweak a bit to get it working. Um, so it just works. Uh, you can change the transport layer. Currently we offer two. And it's very easy to use. To show that, we have a little bit of code. Um, you have a QRemote object node. That node connects to a server or hosts a server in one of the connection modes we offer. And afterwards, you have your usual queue object. It could be a special one, but this is just a normal queue object. And we say enable remoting. And then you can uh, grab the object from the client side. And on the client, it's very similar. We have a queue remote object node which connects to the server. And we ask the uh, node to acquire our object. Um, <coughs> the only difference here is we need to have either the object name, or if we have a specifically generated object, then we can use the templated version so you have type safety in your application. And that's basically it. Afterwards, you use it as a normal queue object. So I've already mentioned we have several types of connections. We have a registry mode, which is something similar to a daemon. You have a central registry. There is <coughs> something where you can register, uh, your server register which objects they provide, and the client can then connect to the server which holds the objects he wants to acquire. Um, <coughs> yeah. And we have a direct connection mode where you can specify the URL um, of your server or cloud. Right now, we support two <coughs> connection types. We support connections via QLocal socket and QTCP socket. Uh, the, you specify the difference uh, in the connection URL, but uh, we plan to change it to make more transport layers possible and more things. So what are we planning for the future? We have a record and replay feature for changes on uh, the objects that will allow you to have something like sensors uh, stream data over this mechanism to your application. Then you record this data and you can replay <coughs> this on your developer device uh, without needing the actual hardware so you can test whatever <coughs> bug you have found. Um, we want to offer uh, a mechanism to exchange the transport layer, so you can hook your own SSL socket, Bluetooth socket, or whatever in there. Uh, we want to implement more security mechanisms. 
uh, maybe even have a, a remoting idea for QF remote uh, QF circulator models and um, things like uh, an exchangeable server backend, so you don't need to speak the protocol we use now, which is QData stream re uh, related, but we want to allow to exchange that. So you can uh, hook up a DBus daemon, for example, uh, as a server backend too. Um, yeah. And what we want, of course, want to do is have more tests, more uh, documentation, more examples. So thanks for your attention. I hope I got some of you interested in trying it out, helping us with bug reports, or by helping us with contributing some of your ideas. Um, we are very much still hoping to develop this, and we, I think Q5.4 might be too early to get this out, but at least 5.5 should be possible. So if you have any questions, I'm available afterwards and at the party, or you can contact me via mail at beyond.breitmeier <coughs> at kdot.com, or you can contact Brett Stottelmeier and abstottel at ford.com. So that's the URL again. I hope it will be out after the talk or later today. Thanks.